Good morning. All right, so everything is wired now. Uh, my last thing is my little city area, which is where the newspaper is. So what I'm doing right now is I'm in the process of making a template. And when that's done, I'm going to use that template and I'm going to use uh, one inch foam board to raise that up so it'll be level with the switches and the city is going to go in that area. Now the reason I'm doing this is as everybody asks, oh how do you get to something if there's a derailment in that far back corner. So I moved closer. Um, so the board you know, the table's made, I can walk on it. So this particular area with the city is going to be, it's it's basically a hospital, police department, and a bank. Uh, I might get switched out for that uh, MTH fire department. I might stick that on there instead of the bank. But uh, that's going to go there, and all those things are relatively lightweight. So I will drill a hole in the center of the board there and put a wire harness down and basically if I ever have to get to the back I will just literally lift off this section of the board which lets me walk and get to the upper shelves or anything that needs to happen you can also walk right along the uh, track I just I have a piece of plywood that's cut for that that I can lay over that track and I, I can walk to either corner and do whatever I would need to be done. So I'm going to finish making the template. And then I'm going to go cut the styrofoam. And I'll come back when the styrofoam's in place. And then we'll start the uh, landscaping of it. Just finished carving the foam board. So that's it. We're the three buildings will sit and now we'll uh, go outside and start the painting process okay so these are the colors I'm gonna use I got a uh, black a brown and some more earth tones this is another brown same as that all right, so I start off always with my black. So we go around the edges. Let's get this shaken up. Ooh, come on. All right, here we go. Start off with black. You don't have to saturate it, you just want it covered. Also, the spray paint itself tends to eat into styrofoam, so you you, you get some more texture, but you gotta be careful also, because if you get too much down, then it actually makes like a dip in it. So you, you wanna be careful about that. All right, so that's the black. And we'll go with the uh, brown.
And we'll go with uh, a darker green. We'll go with a, a light tan, just for a dusting effect. Most of this gets covered all up again with uh, the scenic grass, but we'll just have this as a good base. Okay, so that's all that is to that. So the next step is going to be uh, to go and get the scenic grasses and we'll put that on. Just making sure I got all that lip. Happy with that. All right, so I'll cut it here and we'll come back with the scenic grass. Okay, so what I'm using for the uh, scenery bases is uh, Woodland Scenics. I start off with a fine turf, earth tone. Then I got the blended fine turf. And then I do a, a coarser turf to give it some texture. Now, this will just be a, the uh, rough going. It really probably won't match the uh, final section because there's going to be roads in the building. So I will probably put some gravel down on top, but I just don't know where that's going to go yet. So I'm starting off here with, a, with the glue, which is basically uh, Elmer's glue, uh, one third glue, two thirds water. So I spray it down. Okay, so now I'll go get my brown, use the sifter side. You know, you know, you just cover it. Dust. It doesn't matter if there's like lighter or darker areas. It makes it look more uh, natural. That's that one. In between, just to help it flow in, I, I spray it lightly again. This you got to do from a distance though, because <laughs> just the force of the water will uh, make your stuff move again. But it also gives it more texture. OK, 
Okay. Now come back with the green. This I do actually a little heavier. Yeah, that's the green and then we got some of the coarser dark green now that never works well with the sifter so got to do the pour side on that that's it so I'll, I'll spray it again real light but that's basically how it finishes out I'll let it sit outside for an hour or two then I'll bring it inside and find out where the buildings are really gonna go and I have to do the wire harness for the lights for the street lights and the buildings and that's the end of this part Okay, so I placed it on the board and put the buildings in and put the roads in place. So this is uh, how it's going to be. The next step is uh, to wire up the buildings and do that portion. I'm not going to do it now, but I will end up carving this so it's a regular angle so it looks normal, but it's okay for now. I'll just I'll fix that later. So. So again, I'm going to wire the lights, put in the trees, add some lichen, and next time uh, that portion will be done. So it's the next day, and all my wiring has been completed. Got my little people and roads down. And the uh, that concludes that section. So uh, I'm 99 and a half. 0.9% finished my finishing touches I will try to get done tomorrow I gotta go to uh, Home Depot and I'll get molding for all around the lips and some more uh, sideboards to cover up these these openings so that's where I'm at the next video will be the completed layout I'll do a quick overview and talk about what I'm going to do next. Have a good day.